Ladies and gentlemen of the new millennium, smoke marijuana. If I could offer you only one tip for the future, marijuana would be it. The mind-altering effects of marijuana have been proven by scientists, whereas my advice has about as much basis as a big pile of fresh, steaming horse shit. I will dispense this advice now. Enjoy the power and beauty of your youth. Never mind. You will not understand the power and beauty of your youth until one day when you sit on the toilet and your testicles hang down in the water. Or you bend down to pick up a basket of laundry and your uterus falls out. Then, and only then, will you realize you have squandered your youth and the most exciting thing on your horizon will be playing connect the dots with your bed sores. You are fatter than you think you are. Do one thing every week that makes you piss your pants. Because one day, when you're older, you will piss your pants every hour on the hour, whether you want to or not. Make fun of people with will work for food signs. Because you have a car and they can't catch you. Use a separate washcloth for your rear end. I personally cannot see washing my face with a rag that's been up my ass. Just once in your life, challenge a handicapped man to a hundred yard dash. You will win. Don't tattoo cartoon characters on your body. I don't read the comics in the paper, and I don't want to stare at Snuffy Smith on your fucking forearm. If you're still showering with your father at age 14, no matter how natural it feels, it's not normal. Put your clothes on and call the police. Yodel. If a girl tells you she enjoys anal sex, she is lying. If a guy tells you he enjoys anal sex, you're in the wrong bar. Do not dance. There are only eight people in this world who can dance without looking like idiots. And you are not one of them. Maybe you're gay. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're straight. Maybe you're not. Maybe you play woman softball and you're not a lesbian. Okay, maybe you are. Maybe Siegfried and Roy don't have anal sex. Maybe O.J. Simpson will start a battered women's shelter and Steve Eisenberg will be declared father of the year. The point is, don't fucking kid yourself. If you think you can get bigger boobs by rubbing them with cream, or if you think Dion Warwick actually has some kind of psychic power, or if you've ever flown 8,000 miles to another city because you got a letter saying you have just won $1 million, then get that shotgun over there in the corner, stick the long end in your mouth, and close your eyes. Blam. Be kind to your parents. They may leave you a large inheritance but not so kind that they move in with you when they're sick. There's nothing worse than changing a 70-year-old man's diaper. Do not chat on the internet, but if you must, realize that everyone you chat with is just like you, a big fat fucking loser with way too much time on their hands. Clog, neuter your male pets. If your sense of masculinity is in some way tied to your dog's nutsack, you have a fucking problem. Don't overuse the word fuck. It shows a lack of intelligence. Substituting words like dick licker, son of a bitch bastard, and cocksucker will show your creativity. Toboggan. Accept certain inalienable truths. Dope is too expensive. Priests will molest young boys. And you will eventually get old and lose control of your bladder. And when you do, you'll fantasize that when you were young, dope was cheap. Priests could molest young boys without getting caught, and young men didn't pierce their penises. Don't pierce your penis. There's nothing sadder than an 80-year-old man who can't figure out which hole in his dick to piss out of. Hunt. With a knife. Any pussy can shoot an animal with a semi-automatic rifle from 25 foot up on a deer blind wearing camouflage. Be a fucking man. The next time you see a perfectly able-bodied person park in a handicapped space, run him over with your car. You want to be handicapped? You're fucking handicapped. Invite a Jehovah's Witness into your house and kill them with a blunt instrument. Never have sex with an animal unless it's been declawed. And trust me on the marijuana. CB 
Maybe see Dennis. Yes, uh, I, I have a doctor's prescription, and uh, I was interested in buying some marijuana at your club. Sure. Well, come on by, 1444 Market Street, okay. between the hours of 11 and 1, Monday through Friday. Um, will someone uh, be able to, uh, you know, assist me? Cause I, yes. I've never uh, partaken of cannabis before. Okay, great. We're going to help you out. Should, what do you, should what I bring do you, my own smoking device? Because, I mean, all I got is an old corn cob pipe. I don't know what to do. Well, you can buy a pipe here, too. And uh, you can just come in and we'll show you how to use it. What do you got? I have glaucoma. Yeah, well, we just come on and we'll show you how to use it. If you can't smoke, we get you a brownie. Okay, yeah, yeah that's that's good. I like that. Another thing, if I, were, if I use something of yours, we'll be uh, sanitized. Oh, uh, yes. I'm very concerned about cleanliness and the spread of disease. You know? Oh, yeah. Well, it's, uh, you know, it's it's an herb. It's a plant that grows off the ground. It's totally clean and right. totally makes sure no mold, yeah, no, yeah. no pesticides. You don't, you, don't, you don't get a lot of pickle puffers down there, do you? Because I, you know, I don't want to be putting nothing in my mouth. It's some, you know... What, What's a pickle puffer? You know, some queer boy's been touching you. Know? Uh, well, you know, if you're homophobic, you probably wouldn't even like this place. Well, I'm, ooh, I'm only concerned about my health, you know, I guess. Well, yeah, but, you know, I'm just telling you because there's a lot of people with AIDS here. You know, uh, you, I could, maybe I could just buy some pot and take it back to my house. Well, that's what you spo- yes, you can do. I mean, if there's a bunch of dope smoking, you know, faggots down there, they might try to rape me or something. Yeah, I doubt it. But that wacky weed might make them loco. Yeah, well, maybe, might, you, maybe might, you better go somewhere else. Well, it might make me loco, too. I wouldn't want to turn queer after I got stoned. That doesn't happen, does it? Uh, maybe. I mean, one minute I'm smoking a joint, and next I'm smoking some guy's pole. You might, you might, so maybe you better not come. You know, that ain't going to do my glaucoma any good if I get poked in the eye with some guy's d- That's right. Well, don't come. I don't do, think do, you should do it. Do you think I'm overreacting? Yeah, uh, I think you shouldn't do it. Oh, you don't think I could die? You can't? Uh, I don't think, you know, you don't, you better not. Okay, so you, well, I guess you can't assure me that there's uh, no c- sucking going on down there. No. Okay. Uh, well, okay. Thank you very Have much. Have a good day. Hello, Kermit the Frog here, and welcome to Sensamia Street. I'd like to tell you what today's letter is, but I am really fucked up. Hey, hey, Big Bird, do you know what today's letter is? Sure, Kermit. Today's letter is... Joint. Yeah, Big Bird, joint is not a letter... It is a word. Sorry, kids. Today's letter is three. Mm, Big Bird, uh, three is a number. (laughs) Exactly. The number three, which is how many joints I've smoked today. Kermit, are you with me? God, I'm stoned. Me too. (laughs) <laughs> guys, guys, show go on, come on uh, Thank you, Elmo Um, How about we say our ABCs, Big Bird Okay A, A B, B, C, D, D E, B, F, R, G, Q, K, C, R, C, F. I forgot what we were doing, Kramit. Did you just mm, call me Kramit? Yes, I did. Mm, Kramit the Frog here. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, okay. That's all the time we have for today. (laughs) Goodbye, kids. Today's show was brought to you by the uh, letter... Um... Bong. and, And the number... God, you're messed up. Uh, fuck you. The number, fuck you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye, kid. Can you tell me how to get, how to get the sense of me street? Hello, amigos. I'm Miss Chiquita Banana, and welcome to the Chiquita Banana Jingle Contest. You could win an all-expense-paid weekend for four to Florida Disney World if your lyrics are chosen as the winning entry. To learn how to enter the Chiquita Banana Jingle Contest, press 1. To listen to the Chiquita Banana Jingle, press 2. 
you my, my new uh, Chiquita Banana Jingle. Okay, just press three, sir. No, I, I don't want to record. I want to hear. I want to audition in front of a real Chiquita Banana person here. Just press three. No, I don't want to do it live. Just press three. Chiquita Bananas always make me dance. Eat them by the bunch when I get the chance. If you eat too many, you will start to prance. Overripe bananas make you shit your pants. Hey, hey hello. God oh, damn it. Hello, amigos. Chiquita Banana Hotline. Chiquita bananas have a yellow peel. A little Vaseline gives them a greasy feel. Squat down on a bunch of them and have a blast. I got a dozen bananas wedged up in my ass. Hey! Hello? Chiquita banana hotline. Won't you fucking listen to my nana song? It's really... God damn it! Hello, amigos. Chiquita banana hotline. Fuck you, that damn banana man, you hang up quick. Instead of a nanner, won't you suck my dick? I can tell you're really hungry and you like the taste, but that ain't fucking banana juice that's on your face. <laughs> you cocksucker. Yes. Hello. There are those who pass away and leave this world with unfinished business. Their fate is sealed. For all eternity, they will walk the earth as ghosts, searching for someone who can see them, feel them, hear them. Someone who is really, really stoned. This Friday, they will find them. I see dead people. I do too, dude. <laughs> They've been smoking some kick-ass scents. This is some good shit. Killer weed. I'm seeing dead people. That's so messed up. They have the gift of the sixth sense. The sense of Mia, that is. You know that prickly feeling you get down the back of your neck? Yeah. That's them. Nah, that's the munchies, dude. But not every gift is a blessing. I think the dead people are after my weed. Please make them stop. Bogarting my stash. I'm trying. Bruce Willis stars in <laughs> The Sixth Sense. I'm totally fried. Baked. Dude. Sometimes the netherworld is just a token. Um, what were we talking about? Rated PG may be inappropriate for some audiences. <laughs> Is, uh, I was calling about the uh, chicken uh, f***ing contest. Right. It's on June 30th. Uh, June 30th? Yes. Well, that's good. Uh, is it open to anybody? It's open to anybody. We'd right. love to have you come down. Because, I mean, I'm the greatest, uh, one of the greatest chicken f***ers of all times. Really? <laughs> uh, I can I can fuck 60 chickens in, in one hour. Oh, you think we're saying f***ing. It's clucking. Oh, sh As in calling chickens. Oh shoot! See, I've been training. I've been I've been fucking hundred chickens a day for two weeks. Well, my gosh! I guess you're just going to have to give your a rest and give your voice some training. But well, you know, I'm open to anything. I'm you know raised on a farm. I could probably do some uh, chicken calling too. Okay. Buck, 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 buck. That's it. Shoot! I'm really disappointed. Though. I was. I mean, I, I I could put on maybe I could put on a chicken fucking exhibition beforehand. 
Well, people you, come from miles around to watch me f a chicken. We'd love to have you. Well, okay. Well, I'm, my name's Ned. Okay, Ned. And uh, I will. Uh, well, I was planning on bringing a bunch of chickens to fuck, but. <laughs> well, no, you don't need to go that far. <laughs> okay. Well, you just uh, need to bring yourself in a good voice. How about I just bring a homeless guy in a chicken suit and f him? <laughs> Listen, uh, I, I think you think this is a joke. I mean, look, uh, I really f chickens. Really? <laughs> I'm a chicken f***er from way back. Uh... Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Yes? How about a uh, turkey f***ing? Hello? Oh, uh, by the way, I prefer to call it making love to chickens. Chicken f***ing sounds so nasty. Hello? Hello? Uh, yes, listen, uh, I want to give you a sample uh, of my chicken f***ing. I mean, I know it's over the phone. Ben? And you won't get the full effect of me uh, f***ing a chicken alive, but it's still pretty hot. Ben? And don't worry. Don't call PETA on me or nothing. The chickens love it. Uh, okay, here we go. Here, chicky chicky. <laughs> She's playing hard to get. Ben? I'm gonna have to sweet talk her. Come on, baby. You know you love it. Come on. Oh, okay. No chicken foreplay there. Okay, she's ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Tell me you love it. Oh, God. Oh, tell me, Colonel Sanders. Tell me, Colonel Sanders. Oh, yeah. Look dirty to me. Oh, yeah. Now you on top. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What? You want it doggy style? Oh, kinky chicken! Oh, I love that kinky chicken, kinky chicken! Oh, God! Oh, God! Here comes the Colonel's original recipe! Oh, 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 yeah. Finger licking good. Hello? The 700 Club presents... Bible Stories with Eminem. This week's reading Noah's Ark. Yo, check this shit out. One day God came down and told this dude Noah that some bad motherfucking shit was gonna happen to fuck up the whole planet. He said, that's the way it has to be. Too much blasphemy, I'm gonna cause a catastrophe. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Noah said. Don't be telling me that shit, bitch. I don't even know who you are. I don't see no burning bush. I don't hear no heavenly motherfucking trumpets. You tell me some ID, bitch. The last person who came up and threatened me like this wound up in the trunk of my car. And God said, shut the fuck up, because I'm here to save your ass. Because I'm going to make it rain for 40 days and 40 nights. I'm going to flood the earth. No dry fucking turf. Clean house for a prelude to the virgin fucking birth. And Noah said, that's cold, bitch. You could be letting me borrow your snorkel or some shit like that. And God said, not so fast, bitch. You best be getting your ass down to Home Depot and buy about 5 million yards of lumber. You got to build the ark. Won't be no fucking walk in the park. Round up all God's creatures and roar, growl, or bark. And Noah says, shit, are you crazy? Do I look like the motherfucking crocodile hunter or something? Uh-oh. And God got in Noah's face and said, is this how you treat me, bitch? After I created you? Don't disrespect me, bitch! And Noah started to panic. The dude was frantic. I can't make no boat the size of the fucking Titanic. And then God left on a big white horse with wings and a chariot or some fucked up Ben Hur shit like that. Um, excuse me, are you sure this is the King James Version? Shut up, bitch. Don't make me get biblical and stone you. Besides, how long's it been since your man fucking boned you? Fucking bitch, make me lose my place? I'll read you the fucking Ten Commandments while I come on your face. Where was I? Okay, so Noah started hammering and hammering and building the boat. His wife just bitch nagged. That thing ain't gonna float. And he gathered two of every animal. God damn, I didn't know there were so many animals. Jesus Christ, there's too many fucking animals. And God said, shut up, you idiot. Jesus Christ ain't even born yet. And then it rained for 40 days and 40 nights, and all the people who dissed Noah were trying to get on the ark, but he kicked him in the fucking head to stifle that notion. He showed no emotion as he watched him sink to the bottom of the ocean. So days passed, and weeks and weeks and weeks, and Noah said, this ark fucking reeks. Jesus Christ, you know how much shit passes through an elephant's cheeks? Damn it, Shady, this fable's running long. Shut up, bitch, this Bible shit is strong. Bitch. 
So the rain stopped and things were born on a fucking ark. And the clock was tick tock and Noah's tired of being locked in. Looking for something to stick his big cock in. Hanging a big sign that says, if this ark is rocking, don't come fucking knocking. So finally Noah said, yo Dre, give me a quail or a dove or a homing pigeon. Let's end this story. I'm sick of religion. And the dove flew away and came back with an olive branch. Showing there was land. Give him a hand. Good thing. That's all this story I can fucking stand. Peace out. And thank you for calling the Vlasic's Groucho Marx Impersonation Contest. If you've got a great Groucho Marx impersonation, you can win the chance to star as the voice of the Vlasic stork in an upcoming Vlasic commercial. Fuck Groucho. That's quick and easy. All you need to do is give your best Groucho Marx impersonation of a famous Vlasic line. Now that's the best tasting pickle I've ever heard. To enter, please clearly state the following. Your name. Um, Ned Von Picklefucker, the fourth. Your age. Uh, 102. Uh, it's in pickle year, so. Your address with the city and state you live in. Uh, 6969 Cucumber Lane, Pickle Jar, My Ass, Wisconsin. Now it's time to give your best Groucho Marx impersonation of a Vlasic Stork line. That's the best tasting pickle I've ever heard. I don't do phone auditions. The operator. A real person? Hello? Vlasic Foods International. Uh, yes, hello. Um, I was calling about this um, this here uh, Groucho Marx uh, impersonation thing uh, you got oh, going. Well, we have an eight hundred number for well, that. Yeah, but I don't. I don't want to talk to uh, no recording. I want. I want to talk to somebody live. Well, that's the way we we have it set up for you to record. Well, your... I do, look, I just want to talk to somebody because I want to tell you this this Groucho shit. That ain't funny. I mean, maybe... well, Groucho has been our spokesperson for about twenty five years, and we're pretty happy with that. Well, you know, maybe in the forties that was you know that was funny. But come on, I mean, let's you got to let it go. I mean, that's the best tasting pickle I've ever heard. That's fucking lame. I mean, you need a new slogan. You need sure. a, you need a new spokesman. You, you got to rework the whole deal. I think you need to call our eight hundred number. No, no, listen. Here's what you got to do. You need a whole new spokesman with with more attitude. Like uh, Andrew Dice Clay. Well, sir, we're happy with Groucho. Well, look, look, you, I'm just trying to help you out here. You need somebody with attitude. Now, you want people to think pickles. You get Andrew Dice Clay to talk about pickles, or will remember your fucking pickle. You really need to call the 800 number. Well, no, I look, you just listen up. Hickory dickory dock. That pickle looks just like my cock. Sir, please. And when I start jerking, my 14-inch gherkin. Sir. It squirts pickle juice into my socks. Oh, sir, I think you need to call the 800 number. <laughs> now, that was good. That may see that's got you thinking about pickles, don't it? <sighs> see, now, here's another one. Mary had a little lamb. Oh, sir, I really don't want to hear another one. Whose fleece was white as snow. She'd use a pickle on that lamb like a fucking green dildo. Oh. <laughs> Classic Foods International. Uh, Peter, Peter, pickle sucker. Oh, sir, I really have to hang up again. And a wife. But wouldn't fuck her. Oh, sir. He tried to put it in her rear. Pickles turned him fucking queer. <laughs> See? <laughs> Pickles on the mind, don't you? You're starting to like it. <laughs> Classic Foods International. Little Miss Muffet sat Please, on her tongue. Sir, tuffet. I don't want to hear another one. Well, I was walking past. I gave her a nickel to pull out a pickle and stick that deal right up my ass. What's your name, sir? My name's Ned. Ned Dice Clay to you. Ned, please call the 800 number and don't call this number again. Jack be nimble. Jack be quick. Oh, my God. Fuck them pickles, Jack. And suck my dick. Plastic Foods International. Jack and Bill went up the hill. Ned. With a barrel full of pickles. I wound up in the emergency room. Fucking fags. Plastic Foods International. Jerry, Jerry, quite contrary. Licked my pickle. Fucking fairy. Classic Foods International. There was an old lady who lived in a shoe. Oh, no. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. I, I need to hang up now. So she started an internet site, picklefucker.com. Sir. Made millions. Bye. Abyss Creations, can I help you? Uh, yes, uh, uh, I was calling about this uh, real doll uh, thing here. Yes, sir, what can I help you with? Yes, sir. I, I was kind of interested. It, it, it's just made out of a simul, simulacra and it's supposed to feel uh, just like a, a woman. Just like a woman. That's what I'm looking for. I, I'd like to order one. Uh, how much is that run here? 
Well, they're they're about four thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars. Four thousand. That is correct. Jesus Christ! That better be a one hell of a woman there you got there. They're 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 all very good. Man, well, uh, let's see how to go about doing this. I'd like to. What do I do here? Well, let's let's start with the body type. We've got one. She's about five seven. Five seven. Uh, she's got thirty four C breast size. And yes. She's got that supermodel type body. Supermodel. Now we've also got the body too. She's she's about five one. Thirty four D's. D. She is voluptuous. Voluptuous. Yeah. Very that's voluptuous. that's another word for fat. No way. I'll I'll take I'll take tubby. You'll take Tubby? Yeah, I'll go for the fat bitch. Well, she's not really a uh, fat, sir. She's very voluptuous. But well, I want a fat bitch. That's supposed to be my dream woman. We'll, we'll put you down for the voluptuous one, then. Okay. Uh, head. Uh, yes, yeah, she she definitely must give head. It's very important to me. I, well, no, what, what head type would you like? No. Uh, um, uh, can I get one with two heads on her? That, uh, that'd be freaky. No, sir. She doesn't come with two heads. You only get one head. Uh, just give me plain old head, whatever. All right, sir. I'll pick one head out for you. Thank you. How about skin tone? You like them fair, medium, I do it. I, I know what I want for skin. I'd like a dark black on front and then an Asian on, no, on the sir. back. So when I, I'm tired of one race, I could just flip her over and start fucking the other one. No, sir. We, we've got to do one or the other. We can do either African or we can do Asian. Which which would you prefer on this? Jeez, yeah, I'll take Asian. You want the Asian? Yeah. Okay. How about eyes? Uh, yes, eyes would be nice. Uh, touch. Uh, eye, eye color, sir. Um, are they are they are they realistic? You know, could I could I like poke them out? No, sir. I'd like a, I'd love a blind woman. No, sir. They they come with eyeballs, and you cannot take the eyes out. They are affixed into the head. How about blue blue eyes? Blue eyes. Hair. Uh, big hair, big uh, big black afro, like uh, like Link from the Mod Squad. That'd be. We don't have the Link style, sir. Jesus Christ! So much for my dream woman. What the what the hell you got? Well, we've got straight hair, curly hair, long hair, short hair. Oh, give me the closest to an afro. Closest to afro. Well, that would be long and curly, then. Jesus Christ. $4,000 to think I could get a fucking afro. No no link afro, sir. Okay, let's move on. Fingernails. No, I, no fingernails. Well, you have to put something on there, sir. Whatever, I'll just pull them off with pliers. Don't worry about it. Pubic hair. Pubic hair. Pubic hair. Uh, do you ever see uh, Don King's hair? Yes. Could you, could you put something like that down there? Sticking out about five inches as long. We don't have Don King Afro pubic hair, sir. It's curly or it's straight. Uh, natural curly. Natural curly. How about the style of the pubic hair? St- style of pubic hair. And Jesus, I don't give a shit. It's just pubic hair. Now we've got shaved, trimmed, and natural. Just give me natural. I just want a natural woman, boy. Natural. Exactly. That seems to be one of our more popular. I know, look, I, look, you can spare me the fucking the commentary. I'm just trying to order a fucking blow up doll. Well, sir, it's, it's important that we get the order right. I don't want you calling me back saying that you got the wrong pubic hair on your Jesus doll. Jesus Christ. What kind of entrances would you like? Uh, entrances? What are, you, what are you talking about? Do you see an on ramp or see a fucking blow up doll? Well, we've got the vaginal and the oral entrance. We've got vaginal and anal. Or Jeez. we can do all together. We can go vaginal, anal, and oral. Oh. Uh, be one of our more popular ones. Uh, let's see. Uh, um, three entrances is good for me. Is there any way I could get three anal entrances? Well, what do you do with the doll after we ship it out? No, no. I wanted you to put three anal entrances on the doll. Well, we cannot put three C- anal entrances. Well, because I'd love, I'd love a woman with an asshole for a mouth. They do not come that way. We, we Look, put a mouth just, just give me anal. anal That's huh? all I need. What kind of breast would you like on the doll? Um... Yes, could I possibly get uh, three breasts? The, that way, if I get crazy and cut one off, I, I still got a full set. No, sir. The, you only come with two. Look, this is supposed to be the ultimate woman. I mean, my, it's supposed to be my dream doll. I mean, what makes this doll better than any other goddamn blow-up You're doll? You're able to put the options that you choose from your own. Well, you don't seem to have the options I want. Well, sir, we've gone through uh, quite an extensive list here, and you seem to put together quite a selection of Yada, yada, yada. I mean, I'm looking. Does she scream? No, sir. D- does she squeal like a pig? No, she doesn't. She got a club foot? No. Can I get a monkey tail? No. Mucklucks? No. Detachable legs? Not today. Projectile vomiting? No. Does she come with wool on her back so I can pretend like I'm fucking a sheep? No, sir. This is bullshit. Now, now how much is that again? Uh, let me total up your total here. You're about 42 that includes shipping. Do you take trade-ins? No, sir. Because I got about, about 30 of them in the back. No, sir, we don't take trade. So, uh, well, you, uh, one more. You, you got you got one of those dolls that looks like your mom. 
because I'd really like to fuck her. Hello? Hello? Well, how can I help you? Uh, yes, hello? Yes. Is this the, uh, do you carry UPN programming? Yes, let me try to see the program. Give okay. me a second. Thank you. You are. Programming. Uh, hello, yes, uh, is this UPN? Yes. Well, I was uh, I was curious. I heard about that uh, new show and the controversy over that uh, show about the Civil War and slavery and all that. The Secret Diary of Desmond Pfeiffer. Yeah, that's the one. What I want to know: Are you still going to be airing that? Uh, to this at this point, yes. Yeah, what well, I see, I agree because I I don't understand what's what's the big deal. Did you watch it? Yes, I thought it was very funny. And I um, mean, there was a lot of bad press about the show, um, as far as you know. The press is concerned. Yeah, because I mean, slavery, you know, can be funny in, in the right way. It, 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 they're not trying to make make well, it an issue. Well, it said not it, trying to make well, it said in you know slave times. I mean, you know, we just got to got to have a sense of humor. Did you did you hear the one about the slave who died of lung cancer? No. He was a chain smoker. <laughs> yeah, you get it, chain. Mm -hmm. See, you could be funny with slaves, and I got a lot of ideas about shows that have to deal with slavery. Well, I, like I said, we're not making, this is not an attempt to make a joke of slavery. It's not. Oh, well, I think it could be. I got a good idea for a show. It's called The Slave Boat instead of The Love Boat. Well, I, I don't think that the majority of people would find that amusing. Oh, yeah, it's about a big ship, and it takes slaves on a one-way cruise. Um, and it's got a great theme song. Uh, li listen to this. I, I can't hear you. Are you there? Hello? Slaves um. Captured by our crew Come on board I, I, And we'll shackle I, you The slave boat Incarceration for everyone The slave boat Shoot you if you should try to run. Hello. God damn it. Well, how can I help you? Uh, programming, please. Sorry, give me a second. Programming. Uh, yes, hello. I was talking to you a few minutes ago. We seem to have been cut off. I guess you were cut off. Well, you know, I just wanted to you know, say, just because a uh, uh, show is about slavery, you know, doesn't mean it has to be, uh, you know, racist. Right. Well, I got one that's a little more on the lighter side. I mean, just because it's a... Uh, show about slavery doesn't mean it has to be a dark comedy. You know what I mean? Right. I got a happier one. It's uh, set in the 50s and it's called Happy Slaves. It goes something like this. Monday, Monday, Happy Slaves. Tuesday, Wednesday, Happy Slaves. Thursday, Friday, Happy Slaves. I got Hello? slaves. You got slaves. Lots for our slaves to do. These slaves are ours. They're not free, yo, oh, happy slaves. These slaves are ours. They're not free, yo, oh, happy slaves. Hit by Grace Cash. Hello, bling. And Hello. Damn it. Programming. Now you're gonna love this one. Here they come. Hello? Chains on their feet. Hello? If they don't do their work right, then make it be. Hey, hey. Hello. That was going to be a good one. Programming. Hello? Can I help you? How about, how about the slavery hillbillies? Come and listen to a story about a man named Fred. If his slaves start to run, he'd shoot him in the head. I didn't want... Hello? Hello? Programming. Check this out. The slavery one. Here's a story uh, of Kuta Kinte. Uh, uh, he was working in the fields with Chicken George. Uh, uh, they were two uh, slaves uh, working together. Uh, but uh, hello, damn it! I'm gonna finish anyway. The slavery bus, the slavery bus. That's the way they became the slavery bus. Yo, what's up, man? It's time for another edition of What's, what's up, up With That Shit. Yeah. Oh, man, I need another hit. Hang on. Um. The show where we, like, you know, look at stuff and talk about it. We, we and, and now stuff. 
Yeah, man, we just kind of hang out, get high. Mm, too late. <laughs> and, and do stuff. I am so fucked up. Tur turn on the TV, dude. Turn on the TV. In 1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade uh, to the Los Angeles Tell me this is not what Today, I think Today, still this wanted is. by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. The a -team. Problem, If no one else can help, and if you can find them. What's maybe up with that shit? The a -team. This is my favorite show ever. That's bullshit, man. No way. The A team is bullshit. This show kicks ass. No, turn that shit off. That, that face man. Oh man, <laughs> like those punchy jokers could pull off anything, man. <laughs> okay, we got a national emergency on our hands, man. Should we call the FBI, <laughs> the CIA, <laughs> the Navy SEALs? Uh uh, man. Oh. Let's call that old white guy <laughs> and that fucking black dude with the mohawk and that crazy dude. Yeah, the guy that's insane. Murder! Yeah, that's who we need. And together, they are separate. Wait, apart, they are separate. Together, they're they assholes, man. <laughs> For the asshole team. <laughs> wow, man, like, you know, like if you're sending a mission to China to recover a stolen nuclear warhead. I think a big black guy with a mohawk and 12 pounds of gold change is the way to go, man. That's not suspicious at all. No, very inconspicuous. <laughs> oh, 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 big black man. <laughs> I pity the fool has to go to China with Mr. T, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> I pity the fool. <laughs> Remember he had a cereal? I you ever eat Mr. T cereal? I pity the fool ate that cereal. <laughs> was it shaped like a black man? <laughs> it was shaped as little teeth. Little mo little mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> I had like Cracker Jack box. I mean, you could find a little prize in the middle. It was a big gold nugget. You could piece them together, man. Make a gold chain. <laughs> it was sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna be like the old white guy and go smuggling some illegal Cuban cigars. I don't know. Smoke them. But I'm gonna unroll them and fill them with pot. Oh, who was that other dude on there? The, the good looking dude. Um, face. Face man. What do they call him? Face. Face man. That guy he was. <laughs> he was suave. He was a fucking he was, Hardy Boys looking dude, man. He was a pimp, but every time he went to go pick up a lady. He had to pick her up in that big fucking black van, man. That's not cool. Oh. You gotta take her in the back of the van to get your groove on. She's tripping over your guns and your missiles, and, and the old white guy's trying to get it up. He's amazing. It's on one of those fucking lame disguises, man. <laughs> the little Charlie Chaplin disguised the mustache and the big <laughs> nose. He was a master of disguise. <laughs> People walk around, what's up with that white, old white guy with a wig on, man? <laughs> Who is that guy? I don't know, but he's with a big black guy in a mohawk. <laughs> they were on the B team. Mr. T's back there, <laughs> checking off. <laughs> he did face. <laughs> what's up with that shit? I pity the poor fool who fucks in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Murdoch's going insane. Trying to, <laughs> biting her nipples off. <laughs> Oh, face, you're so sexy. Give it to me. No, baby. Come on, hit it, face! <laughs> Smack the bitch up! Who is that back there? That's my brother. <laughs> my brother? <laughs> Change the channel, dude. Time to go. Running long as usual. I had eight more shows I wanted to watch. I'm done with that. Oh, let's just burn one. All right, peace. He's rude, he's screwed, he's a fuzzy little muffin with a foul little mouth, he's Elmo Dice Clay! Kermit be nimble, Kermit be quick, for a little green frog, he's got a big fucking dick, oh! How can one little muffin be so goddamn nasty? Kermit and Grover went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Kermit came down, his dick was all brown. Fucking queer. Elmo Das Clay! Hickory dickory dock! Big Bird was sucking my cock. The clock struck eight, he licked my balls great. Then I blew his head off with my clock. <laughs> Fucking big dead chicken. Oh! Are you ready for it? Elmo Das Clay! Non-stop! Filthy, dirty comedy! 
Kings men couldn't get Jim Munson's hand out of their asses. Oh! Don't let the voice fool you. This little muppet has balls. Little Miss Piggy sat on a tuffet, eating her curtain whey. When along came up Grover, who made her bend over and said, Jesus Christ, your pussy smells like a cow's ass. Oh! It does. Just as Kermit. Yes, sir. I I heard on the news that people are no longer going to be allowed to use profanity on your golf course. Uh, What's the f***ing deal? Uh, we just don't allow it anymore. It just got way out of hand. Well, I mean, look, if I can't use color for language, I mean, I'd just as soon not play the f***ing game at all. I mean, if I hit a wicked f***ing duck hook into the goddamn rough, and I know I'm gonna have to blast a mother f***ing three iron just to get the sucker within 30 yards of the green, I ain't gonna be in no mood to say gosh darn it by Gumby. I'm gonna be wanting to curse like a f***ing sailor. Well, then you would have to go to some other golf course, then. Oh, that's bullshit. I pay good goddamn money to play around the f***ing golf, and you're gonna tell me what the hell I can say? Yes, sir. If I don't curse, my, my friends are gonna think I'm a big f***ing bitchy. Well, you probably are. Oh, you shut up a bitch, I'll kick your ass. Uh, that wouldn't be a good idea. Now listen here, s*** for brains. And nobody's gonna tell me I can't curse. Some bastard comes up to me and tries to stop me from cursing, I'll knock the shit out of that asshole. What's your name? My name's Ned. Ned what? Uh, Ned, go f*** yourself. <laughs> well, Ned, go f*** yourself. Go f*** yourself. Listen, mother f- I'll take my three wood and shove it right up your <laughs> Hello? Kings Mountain Golf Club. Listen, asshole, why are you making such a big deal out of this? Why Why do we have to split tears over swearing on a lousy f***ing golf course? There's those children and women out there playing, and it's just getting way out of hand. Them little bastards. And f*** them women, too. Ned? Kids and women got no right playing golf. Ned? Bunch of Tiger Woods f***ing wannabes and golf whores. I say f*** them all. Hello? Hello? Kings Mountain Golf Club. Now, what about the uh, constitutional right to free f***ing speech? You play on our course, you play by our rules. Yeah, you can take your rules and shove them up your <laughs> Hello? Hello? Could you give me a price on a big sure. mother f***ing Bertha driver? Hello? Kings Mountain Golf Club. Uh, yes, how much uh, to rent a cart? You f***ing Hello? Kings Mountain Golf Club. Uh, yes, uh, I'm on a f***ing cell phone, and I'm on the ninth green. Ned. Do I have time to take a before I make the turn? Kings Mountain Golf Club. Uh, pardon my French, uh, d- liquor. Why don't you but, just uh, call me? What if I'm behind a foursome, and they're playing real slow? Quick calling! You know, uh, you mean I have no choice but to yell at, ARE YOU MOTHERFUCKERS PLAYING GOLF OR HAVING A GODDAMN FUCKING PICNIC? Hello? King's Mountain Golf Club. Listen, listen, asshole. Why, why are you so afraid of cussing? <laughs> you big pussy? Is that it? Oh. Mama's boy? <laughs> you yeah. never had a mama, did you? I f***ed your mama. If you hear, I think you're my baby. You can go to f***ing hell. F*** you. Hello. Hello. Hello, Kirk. Yes, good morning. Morning. Yes, uh, this is uh, President Bill Clinton. Hello. Yes, uh, I'm calling to see if you'd be interested in being a contestant in the Who Will Be the Last Nationality to Suck My Dick competition. What is it? You know, it's coming down to the wire, and I think you have a very good chance of winning. Online? You, an Egyptian woman, could be the last one to blow the president of the United States of America. What do you think of that? I First prize, I, I won't kill you. <laughs> Hello? Who is speaking? Uh, president uh, Bill Clinton of the United States of America, thank you very much. Yeah? Look, I, I, I'm looking for a good time. You, you are looking for what? Uh, a good time. Uh, I'm looking to party, if you know what party? I mean. Party? Yes. I haven't. Do you party, if you know what I mean? No. Get high? No. What? No. Well, co- look, I, I've, I've, been, I've been stuck in a conference room for 15 hours with Yasser Arafat. Yasser? Yes. Yeah, so J- Jesus Christ, that, that guy smells like 50 pounds of camel shit. Yeah? 
I, t- I tell you, the Israelis ought to quit shooting rubber bullets at the Palestinians and fucking spray them with disinfectant. Jesus. Just launch a couple hundred bars of soap at those assholes and watch them scatter. I mean, now I know why the Sphinx is missing his nose. If I had to live here, I'd cut my fucking nose off too. Eee! Nasty. But, but, but I digress. Uh, could I get a whore to uh, suck me off? From what? From where? No, uh, look, I am President Bill Clinton of the United States of America. Bill Clinton? Y- <laughs> uh, I see my reputation precedes me. Thank you very much. Welcome. <laughs> What's your name, darling? <laughs> oh, that's lovely. You sound beautiful. You are American? Yes, I am. I am. I am the president. I don't think so. Yes, yes, uh, <laughs> you would know differently. You, you are joking. Uh, no, I'm not joking. No, you are joking, I'm sure. If you saw me with my pants unzipped, you uh, might be whistling a different tune. Hello. Hello? Yes, good morning. Good morning. Yes, I fucked a... This is uh, Bill Clinton in room um, Uno, uh, Dodi Fayed, and I've I've been in intense negotiations involving global peace for two days. This is what I need. I need some rest. So could you please send me up uh, the sarcophagus of Tutankhamun, a pocket pussy, and a do not disturb sign? I'd be very uh, appreciative of that. You, you, where are you from? United States of America. United States. What's you- your name? William Jefferson Clinton. Ah, you contacted me before. I know. Your voice... I tell you, you are joking. Your your voice is like the the Nile flowing gently over my penis. (laughs) You have a lovely laugh. (laughs) You have to come to see you. I would love to... I'd love to come to see you. It's okay. I am waiting for you. Yeah, you are my kind of woman. Uh... (laughs) What do you look like? Nefertiti. Oh my goodness. Nefertiti's. <laughs> you know Nefertiti? Oh man. I'm not up on my uh, Egyptian mythology, but I believe she's the uh, goddess of suck a dick. Yeah? Uh, Nefertiti. Are you talking dirty to me? <laughs> you have to come. Uh, oh, be- <laughs> believe me, I will come. <laughs> like you've never, where, like you've never seen. You are coming. Oh, right now. I'm almost there. Speak Egyptian to me. Tell you what? Um, tell me my penis is as big as the Great Pyramids. <laughs> Anything. It's just a manager's mind. Hello? Hello? I'm still Hello? here. I'm still here, darling. I'm looking for a Cairo crank-off. <laughs> a Nile River rim job, if you know what I mean. Sorry. Could you, could you help me out with that? Could well, you give me your phone number? Oh, I, you want my phone number? Yeah. You know, but I, I'm I'm President Bill Clinton. You are a President Bill Clinton? Bill, yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome Clinton. I miss you very much. You love me? <laughs> Join the crowd. I am Monica. <laughs> you, oh, you want to be Monica? Oh, my God. Uh, believe it or not, I have never uh, received oral sex from an Egyptian woman before. <laughs> Do uh, Egyptian... Okay, I, I am so busy. Do Egyptian women, uh, get, do they give good head? <laughs> do they? Yeah. Yes, yes, you do. Well, I got 50 drachmas and a Cuban cigar. I'll meet you in 10 minutes, honey. Bye. Goodbye. Hello. Yes, I have a car bomb in my pants, and I'm looking for a girl on a suicide mission. <laughs> Hello. Damn it. San Francisco Zoo, Valentine's Animal Sex Tour Hotline. How can I help you? Uh, yes, uh, good afternoon. Uh, I was calling about your animal sex tour. Yeah? Uh, this sounds wonderful. I mean, I've been waiting for years for somebody to offer a tour like this. Now, now how does this work? I mean, do, do I get to choose which animals I want to have sex with or what? Well, it's not really you're having sex with the animals, sir. Because I'd really like to fuck a panda bear or a koala bear or something exotic like that. Sir, it's not really that at all. What is it for? You go around and you view the animals while they're having sex. Just You're not a part of it. You just watch? Yes, sir. I don't want to watch a bunch of animals having sex. That's disgusting. What kind of sick people are going to line up to watch animals fuck each other? Jesus, God almighty, a bunch of perverts. You know, I would pay top dollar to fuck a chimp. 
Well, sir, that's not exactly what it is. Have you ever had monkey sex? Ooh, wee, that's hot. And if if I could f a mountain gorilla, I could die a happy man, I'm telling you. Sir. Or even a guy in a monkey suit. Hell, that'd be close enough. Do you have any animals that would just b me? Sir, that's, uh, that's, that's, a, this a, is not what it is. Maybe a c fucking camel or something. I mean, come on, work with me. Oh, hell, I'd be happy if I could just j off on a beaver. <laughs> Hey, Frank. Hey, Louie. You want to go out tonight? See if we can get lucky? No, I'm going out with the ferret. The ferret? What's up with the fucking ferret? He's hung like a horse. I just don't get it, Frank. You're, you're going to tell me the ferret has a bigger penis than me. Hey, ferret. Show him your penis. Jesus Christ, that's a big furry penis. I told you. It's like he's got a full-grown gerbil hanging between his legs, Frank. <laughs> he says he's uncircumcised, Louie. That is disgusting, Frank. <laughs> he says the chicks dig it. So you're trying to tell me, Frank, that girls prefer that hairy, smelly, dirty, uncircumcised rat over me. In a nutshell. <laughs> he says don't worry about it. Everybody knows you're queer anyway, Louie. That motherfucker... Hey, Ferret, you think you're so hot with your big furry dick? Well, this is what chicks really dig. A little tongue action. He says catching flies with your tongue is nice, but pleasing a woman is a totally different ballgame, Louie. Oh, yeah, Frank? Well, if he's so good at oral sex, tell him to come over here and lick my balls. He says he knew you were a butt pirate, Louie. Oh, shut up! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Lizard dick? You son of a bitch! Rodent fucker? <laughs> My mother? Your mother fucks otters! <laughs> well, what'd he say, Frankie? <laughs> he says your mother fucks ferrets. <laughs> he had her last night. <laughs> That's it, Frank. I'm going below the belt. The ferret is HIV positive! Did you hear that, frogs? The ferret is HIV positive. That's totally not cool. Louis. Hey, Frankie. Let's ditch this loser. Where are you going? Ferret. Frogs, come back. Hey, come on. I was just joking. Little joke. Come on. Nickelodeon, can I help you? Is this uh, viewer services? Yes, it is. Yes, I just wanted to find out some information. I read in the paper today uh, that... Uh, they were removing a character from the comic strip because uh, he was Jewish, and I was trying to find out some information on that. Um, it's actually, we do the program, but the comic strip is actually separate from us. What's your name? My name is Megan. Can you hold on a second? Sure. Hello? Hello? Hi. Um, could I get back to you with the details on that once I find them out? Could, could I just leave you my name? Okay. Just so you know who, uh, you know, if I call back. Okay. That would be Ned. Okay. Because uh, I got a lot of good ideas how to include more Jews in your cartoon programming. Uh huh. Would you like to hear them? Not right now. Uh, I I have like uh, Ned. all the characters on Scooby Doo. I mean, talk about a bunch of vanilla white bread wasps. Okay. They need to remake that whole show with an entirely Jewish cast. Um, I they have, could call um, it Scooby Doo. Scooby Dooby Jew. I love hello, hello. Nickelodeon, can I help you? Yes, who's this? This is Megan. I just spoke with you. Okay, well, I need to speak to someone uh, in programming a little higher up. I need to speak to somebody about this anti-Semitism going on in your network. I actually work in programming for Nickelodeon. Okay. So I would be the one to answer. I mean, there is a complete lack of Jews on Nickelodeon. Uh-huh. Like superheroes. There are no Jewish superheroes. Can you name one Jewish superhero? Nope. I didn't think so. You got Superman, Wasp, Spider-Man, Wasp. Batman, Wasp, I mean, Superman could have been a great Jew. Super Jew. Uh-huh. And instead of a kryptonite, uh, you could sap his strength with pork. Yeah. Um, give uh, Lex Luthor a ham sandwich, he could f*** him up. Hello? Hello? Or maybe the Fantastic Four. Or they could all be Jewish. Uh-huh. And they could go around the world circumcising all the little boys. Ned. And they could be called... Ned. The Fantastic Fourskins. Hello? Hello? Nickelodeon, can I help you? Why couldn't Fonzie be Jewish? Um, with a little I, I leather have... yarmulke? I mean, he would have been much cooler. Hello? Thumbs up with a big... Oi! Hello? Nickelodeon, can I help you? Uh, instead of Return of the Jedi... Ned? We should have Return of the Rabbi. Ned? And Darth Goldberg could circumcise Luke with his lightsaber. Blink. 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 Blink.
Hello. Nickelodeon, can I help you? How about instead of the Flintstones, the Flintsteins? Yeah. Yeah, but Debbie Jew. Hello? Well, I got a theme song already worked up. Ned? May it go something like this. Hello? Yeah, but Debbie Jew! Ned? Flintsteins, meet the Flintsteins. They're the Jewish caveman family. Living in Israeli rock, the first Jews ever in history. All their neighbors think they're pretty nice, even though they don't believe in Christ. Flintsteins, meet the Flintsteins, they wear their yabba dabba yarmulkes, yabba dabba Hanukkah, we'll have a kosher time! Oi vey! We'll have a kosher time! Yabba dabba Jew! Hello! Hello. What? Good morning, ladies. My name is Sergeant Johnson. From now on, you will refer to me as Sergeant, Sergeant Johnson, or Sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. I am your drill sergeant, and I am here to turn you jackasses into lean, mean fighting machines. Yes, sir. In keeping with the U.S. military's new policy, I am now allowed to tell you that I am a homosexual. That's right, I am gay. Do you have a problem with that, Private? No, sir. Do you believe I suck dick? I don't know. Well, I do. I suck a mean dick, Private. Let me hear you say that. You suck a mean dick, Sergeant. I can't hear you. You suck a mean dick, Sergeant. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Corporal Cocksucker? Do you find my sexual preference amusing? No, sir. Do you find it hard to believe that a man of my stature and physical attributes might take it up the ass? No, sir. Just because I'm not some pathetic, limp-wristed faggot, you think I can't give a wet, sloppy blowjob with the best of them? No, sir. Would you like me to prove that to you right now, Corporal Cuck up your ass? Yes, sir. Is that what you want me to do, soldier? Do you want me to get down on my knees and suck your dick right now? Do you? Uh, yes, sir. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Well, I'm not. You think just because I'm gay, I'm gonna blow every goddamn GI that comes down the pike? I'm sorry, soldier. I need to be wined and dined first. If you want a blowjob, you're gonna have to treat me like a lady. <laughs> Who's laughing? Do you think I'm funny, Private? No, sir. You think the U.S. Marine Corps is a goddamn sitcom? No, sir. How about I go to your house, bend him over, and screw your daddy, soldier? Would that be funny? No, Would sir. Would you like to watch the new sitcom entitled, I Fucked Your Daddy, Soldier? No, sir. I didn't think so. What's that on your lip, soldier? I forgot to shave, sir. Forgot to shave? The only thing I want to see on your lip is my goddamn nutsack. Understand? Yes, sir. Private Lloyd? Yes, sir. I like you. From now on, you will refer to me not as Sergeant Johnson, but as Sugar Lips. Do you understand? Yes, Sugar Lips. All right, now fall in for the 20-mile run. And you jackasses better fucking hump it, because the last three soldiers are going to be peeling potatoes till the cows come home. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Did I say peeling potatoes? I meant shaving my balls. Now move it, move it, move it. I am a kick-ass marine! I am a kick-ass marine! But my sergeant is a queen! But my sergeant is a queen! If he likes what I have wrong! If he likes what I have wrong! He will kiss me with his tongue! He will kiss me with his tongue! Sound off! Sound off! Welcome to PBS Storytime. Today's guest is Joe Pesci reading Dr. Seuss, Green Eggs and Ham. Okay, kids, listen up. I don't got all day. That Sam I am, that Sam I am, I do not like that Sam I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? What the f*** are you, deaf? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? Yeah, I'd like them in a house. 
in your house while I'm f***ing your mom, you son of a bitch! I mean, not in a house, not with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am, okay? Get it! Get it! Would you eat them with a box? Would you eat them with a fox? Listen, f face. You think you're pretty funny. Box, fox, house, mouse, here, there, anywhere. How about I slit your f throat and shove those god greasy, slimy green eggs and ham down your f windpipe and watch you f choke on them? Cause I do not give a good god I'll f kill you, Sam I am. The f it am. Get the f out of here, kids. Get the f out of here. If you see only one movie this summer, make it Star Wars The Phantom Menace. If you see only two movies this summer, make the other one Austin Powers 2. If you see 20 to 35 movies this summer, Hey dude, shut the fuck up and introduce my movie! <clears throat> Lucasfilms presents Star Wars, the first episode, The Cartman Menace. Yes, to be a true Jedi. You must have patience, my son. How are you supposed to be? Kermit the fucking frog? Hmm. Too young and fat this one is. I cannot teach him. Whatever, dude. This Muppet shit went out about 20 years ago. Don't miss Star Wars, the first episode. The Cartman Menace. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only help. Whoa, man. Who's the hot bitch? Oh, Master Cartman. That would be Princess Leia. Yeah, dude. I dig those Chris sandwiches on the side of her head. Hey, Princess Lamy, would you like some meat between that bread? Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Jesus Christ, what a fucking broken record. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Who's blow me Wan Kenobi anyway? Don't miss Star Wars, the Cartman Menace. <laughs> Cartman save the galaxy? Don't make me destroy you. Get real, dude. You gonna kick my ass with a fucking flashlight? If you only knew the power of the dark side. I do feel the dark side coming on. Man, talk about a disturbance in the force. I am your father. Don't miss Star Wars, the first episode. Yeah, I fucking stepped in Wookiee shit. The Cartman Miss. Mattel Incorporated. Uh, yes, I was uh, calling about the uh, the new Barbie's friend, the one that's, you know, in, in the wheelchair. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, well, well, I was wondering, uh, I was going to get one for my little granddaughter, and uh, how realistic is she? Um... She's a doll in a wheelchair. Um, I mean, if I try to stand her up, will she just, like, collapse, you know, her legs all floppy and everything? Like, <laughs> No, I. It's a, it's a regular doll in a wheelchair. Well, I mean, if I'm buying a crippled Barbie, I, I want a legitimate crippled doll. I, I, you know, I don't want, you know, a healthy Barbie with two healthy legs. That's, you know, kind of fraudulent. Well, uh, it, um, it's supposed to depict a person in a wheelchair. Um, well, you know, is she a paraplegic or a quadriplegic? I don't know, sir. I mean, it's a doll in a wheelchair. Well, I hope she's not quadriplegic, because if, you know, she could use her hands, at least she could give Ken a hand job. Hello? Hello? Mattel Incorporated. Uh, yes, I uh, seem to have been disconnected. Um, If I have a crippled Barbie in my car... Yes? Can I park in the handicapped space at the mall? Yes, uh, this wheelchair Barbie's got me to thinking uh, you could have uh, other Barbies. Yes. Like a uh, quadruple amputee Barbie. And she could double as a paperweight. Mattel Incorporated. Perhaps um, epileptic Barbie. Flop around like a fish out of water. Mattel Incorporated. Tourette syndrome Barbie. She could tell Ken to go fuck himself. Good morning, Mattel. What about chlamydia Barbie? Mattel Incorporated. How about partial birth abortion Barbie? Uh, what do you say, crack whore Barbie? Mattel Incorporated.
Incorporated. What about date rape, Ken? Metallic Incorporated. Um, G.I. Joe with swollen testicles? <laughs> Mattel Incorporated. How about a Luke Skywalker action figure with HIV? Oh, God. Good morning, Monkey Jungle. Uh, yes, uh, I wanted to talk to somebody about this uh, monkey situation. Okay, one moment, please. Monkey Jungle. Uh, yes, uh, I'm, I'm, I'd like to help you out. I, I'd, I'd like to buy your, your gorilla. You'd like to buy my gorilla for what? Well, I'd, I'd like to eat him. You eat him? You're a sick f I'd like to, to cook him up, make People some... like you should be f***ing destroyed. Some uh, gorilla steaks, I hear no, they're, no, 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 hear no, they're no. good. This, this, like I told you, this thing is not for sale, and you are a sick mother. I got a recipe for ape kebabs. It yeah. is out of this world. Gorilla's got a recipe for you. Listen, buddy, uh, do, do you know how to butcher a gorilla? Because I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. Well, number one, it's not for sale, so forget about it. I, don't, I mean, I don't want to shoot him, because well, I, w I want to save his skin and use it for a monkey suit. Well, it's not for sale, like I'm telling you. I was thinking about taking him on the roof and pushing him off. But yeah, well, this is what I like to do with you. But it's only two stories, and I'm afraid well, I might... I like to go three or four story with I you. I might just paralyze him. Man, I got a goddamn crippled gorilla on my hands. And I gotta go out and find an ape wheelchair to cart him around in. Get a van with a goddamn monkey lift. A pain in the ass. Believe me, you will never get your hands on it because it's not for sale. Have you ever had ape tartar? No, I didn't, and I have no intention of it. Uh, throw a little ape on the Barbie. No, 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 no. You think you're a badass, don't you? I beg your pardon? You think you're a badass? Well... Let me tell you something. Let's finish this conversation. This is the gorilla's not for sale. You seem like that gorilla an awful lot. You f***ing it. You are a sick f I'll kick... Can you go see a psychiatrist, because that's what you need. I'll kick your ass and the gorilla's no, ass. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because if I had you right now, your ass would be mine. People like you, that's what they deserve. A good f***ing beating. Hello? Monkey Jungle. Yes, uh, uh, I'm sorry, we seem to have been disconnected. Uh, now look, uh, I know uh, about all that uh, animal rights bullshit and all that, so I don't have to eat the monkey. Well, like I told you, you are a sick look, look, don't bother calling here again. Uh, I, got, I got plenty of things I could do with uh, with McGill the Gorilla there. What I really want to do is, uh, is I want to dress up like Charlton Heston mm -hmm. and film a pornographic version of the Planet of the Apes. Well, do you know, uh, does, does King have a deep throat? Go oh, f yourself. That's the end of it. Yeah, because I want to f your gorilla. Now, f yourself. You better off. You banging that gorilla boy? You faggot. Monkey jungle. Uh, yes, I was uh, calling about f the monkey and. Uh, go f yourself. Huh? Goodbye. Hello. Hello.